Hiya, my name's Amala. I'm a jazz singer-songwriter from London. And here I'm going to give you my top five tips on writing funding applications as a musician. Top tip one, read the criteria thoroughly. And then once you're done, read it again. You would not believe how much time and energy writing a funding application can take from you. So you want to make sure that once you've hit submit on the application, that you have the very best chance of getting the money that can help change your career. Sometimes I, I see my peers and I see people applying for funds that they're actually just not eligible for. So make sure you read that criteria. That will save you a lot of heartbreak, a lot of stress, a lot of trauma. It'll be fine, babes. We got this. Top tip two, being allocated funding is going to depend on the strength of your portfolio. So throughout the year, if you've been covered in radio, if you've gotten press, if you um, have played shows, collect those screenshots and those videos. If you're on TikTok, take the screenshots from the from the TikTok comments. Like all of this shows people that you have momentum and that you're building something. So record them and throughout the year, put them in a little folder, keep them there so that when you're writing this application, you have the evidence. Evidence, it's right in your hand, it's right in your computer. That will help you so much. Three and four, I'm gonna focus on budgets a little bit now, okay? So top tip three, no funder wants to give you money for you to give it to somebody else. Does that make sense? So if you're hiring radio pluggers or PR, those are amazing and, and they're really gonna help um, boost your career. But what they really want to invest in is your creativity. So you wanna make sure that when you're using these paid for services, whether that's ads or something else, that they're not making up really much more than 40% of your budget. The majority of your budget should be on getting equipment, you know, shooting videos, um, photo shoots, like paying for mix and mastering and, you know, building the art because that's what the funders really care about. They want to foster your creativity. So focus on that. Make sure that 60 percent of your um, application budget at least is focused on fostering and nurturing your own creativity, not paying somebody else. Top tip number four on budgets, make sure that you're listing in-kind resources. So in-kind resources are things like your mate runs a studio and you know you can use it for free two times a week. Like how much would that actually cost? Price that up, put that in your budget and say, I get 400, um, 400 pounds worth of studio time for free every week. That shows that you have community and it shows that there are people that are invested in you um, but not necessarily in a monetarily way, but they're just invested in your um, development. It's gonna be really important in showing the funder that you have resources already, and that you're not just reliant on this little bit of money that's gonna come in. And the last top tip for funding, top tip number five, is making sure you tell them about your personal journey. You know, every funding application, you gotta see it as like a, a personal essay or a story about you, because you have to assume that the funder is going to know nothing about you. So tell them your dreams, tell them like your wildest ambitions and, and tell them where you started and tell them how this little bit of money is going to help you get from point A to point B to reach those dreams. They really do care. They really do want to see you succeed. So tell them why it's important you get this cash now, not in a year's time, not in six months time. What is it about the trajectory of your career and the timing that's really gonna make the difference? All of these things are going to help you write the most evocative and emotive and very clear funding application that you can because, you know, the people that mark these funding applications are just people and they want to be able to get to know you as much as possible from the words that you put down on the page. Yeah, I hope that helps. Bye.